It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the... And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing, and we're going to feed off this crowd tonight, as usual, here in the UK, BC. You know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because you wear these headphones, you can barely hear. But when we come to London, headphone or not, you are going to know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to be on the show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. Nice head kick. Hands up, hands up. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice straight left there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. Oh, nice right in. Unable to connect with a right hook. Counters with a left hook. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. Hey, 
bull. I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Stuffs the takedown. No club. The fighters separate. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. His misses are in the Oh! He's hurting bad here. Throws the right hand there. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Hook shot lands. Great commitment to the kicking game. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. There it is again. Look at that. It got checked. Just misses with the left hook. Big shot to the head. Oh. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly fit. Oh, my God. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Throwing that jab, no good. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. He missed with that jab attempt. There. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Final seconds. Over, he got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing.
So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Nice kick. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there and... Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, we told you about that hook, there it is. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Now he's going full mount. Gotta be careful here. Constantly a moving target. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Very fast jab, Lance. Well, he is clearly faded in this one and not. Oh! oh! Ooh, diving punch, Lance. My back! My back! Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing his shot. And once again, he lands right on that cut. That will do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team fan.